Hey friends, it's Deanna here and I just got a new embroidery machine and I bought a shelf and so uh, since I was getting that embroidery machine and I have no room for anything anymore, my fabric uh, shelves are busting out, I have fabric just kind of laying there, I have no place to put a embroidery machine so no shelf like no tabletop area so I figured oh okay I'll just go ahead and get a shelf because I assume I don't know I haven't embroidered so I don't know that I can just set my machine to embroider by itself so I don't really need an actual sewing table for it so I'm like I'll just get a shelf because then I can fill the bottom of the shelf with tons of fabric which is obviously what I'm going to do so I ordered my embroidery machine, which is a brother. Um, it's a brother PE 800. Now it's not the top of the line kind of embroidery machine. I know it's probably not some, it's like an entry level embroidery machine, uh, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money on an embroidery machine. So this was a really good choice. I think for me, I read the reviews and it's got really good reviews. Um, so I'm hoping it will be really, really good. And I'll let you know later on down the road when I actually get into it and start playing with it. I just opened it. So I'm going to show you um, my bow, my um, my little doggy, my puppy, and I built the shelf. So I'm going to show you our shelf that we built. And I'm also going to show you uh, as I opened my uh so my new serger i mean not serger my new embroidery machine but then i'm gonna show you what happens when you just willy-nilly order a shelf even though i did look through them but you don't really look at the dimensions of the sewing machine or anything um it doesn't quite end up what you thought so All right, so here I am again, right in front of this beautiful puppy. Look at it. This is the Brother PE800, and I keep looking at the tag. Um, it's got a nice, um, uh, like, display and everything. It is really, really scary looking, especially because I've never done anything like this. I have, actually, I lie. My sewing machine that I have that I usually sew on it's a embroidery machine, but it's it's a lot older and I can't seem to figure it out because it uses floppy disks. And so we don't have, I don't have the right things to use it. Um, so I went with this one to try to learn it and figure out everything that I need to do. Um, and I'm going to have to show you later because I have no idea what all these buttons are. So it came with this little puppy right here. It's gonna take me years to read. So yeah, seriously, who's gonna read all that? Okay, so it came with this guy. And then it came with a hoop. I went with a bigger hoop. I went with a five by seven. There is another one, another brother um, that is a, I think four by six, but I went with a five by seven because one of my friends who uh, embroiders, she said the bigger one will come in handy. Um, it comes with this little pack of um fun surprises it is well it tells you in the description so it's not really a surprise unless you're like me and then read the full description so then it is a little bit of a surprise little scissors which i need because i always lose mine and then a little button thing that i have no idea what to do with it i'm sure i'll figure it out at some point just throw it at it it came with some needles extra needles it came with a little um, screwdriver to, um, I guess, whenever I need to put the needle on or mess up. 
they know I'm going to be seam ripping. So, you know, they send me one of those. Thank you, can never have enough. I've got another screwdriver and I'm assuming this one is just a tad bit smaller, probably for the needles. I've got a little handy dandy dusting brush for when I actually decide to actually clean it. Don't know what this is. Don't know what this is. Don't know what this is, but I'm sure it'll come in handy. Don't know what this is, but they send you a bunch of little knobs and things. You just probably throw it at it and then it'll start working by itself. And they send you some bobbins. I do have a ton of clear bobbins, which somebody said on the reviews that um, clear bobbins will work best and the, better than the metal bobbins. So we'll see about that. I don't know. So it's that little pack. They also send you a cover for it so you can um, like put it to bed at nighttime, you know, put a little blanket on it and put it to bed. Obviously the cord, the power cord, because you know, we need the power um, and the arm. Oh, and they also send you a spool of thread, I guess, so you can try it out. I did order some thread out of uh, Wawak. Wawak. Um, and so hopefully it will work. So this is my shelf. Isn't it cute? Yes, but it is tiny. I did not read the dimensions and I thought it was going to be like wider. Like I have another shelf like it and it's got like another area. Like it's, it's farther out. So I have my cover stitch on it and I think it will be all right, but I don't know how much it's going to move. Like it's so, actually it's not super flimsy. It's all right. It's not bad, but it's so small. That's what happens when you don't read. The... Now my husband, he would have spent all day looking at the dimensions of the sewing machine. Well, you keep calling it a sewing machine, but it's an embroidery machine and the dimensions of the shelf to make sure it fit correctly and all that jazz. But I did not do that. So this is what I get. And I don't even know that my, this arm is gonna fit on it. And the only reason why I know what this is is because I have one for my other sewing machine. So this goes right here somehow. But I'm gonna see if it fits. Okay, well, I guess it fits. Maybe after all, maybe it was the perfect table after all. It um was like 30 bucks, I don't know. It was one of the cheapest ones I could find. I didn't want to spend a ton of money on it. I am really, really cheap. So I'm going to put some fabric in it because that is why I got it. So already, I already have fabric waiting to go in it. Um, so anyway, let me know if you have any questions. As soon as I get that open and get it working, it's probably gonna take me a little while because it looks very intimidating then I uh, might go ahead and do a video for you and show you a little bit more of what it does, just in case you are wondering about this embroidery machine. If you have one, give me any advice below, any advice you can give me and on what to do with it. Yay, can't wait to get more fabric. I'm gonna put it all in there. Thanks. I'll see y'all next time when I actually sew something. Bye.